in these problems, we're talking about linear pairs and vertical angles. So what's a linear pair? Well, a line, linear means a line, right? It's got the word line right in it. And a pair means two. And a linear pair is when you make two angles out of a line. Remember, a straight line is also a 180 degree angle. You think about this as an angle that you just opened up until it was straight. If you cut that 180 degree angle, that straight angle with another segment, it divides it into two smaller angles. So there's this angle, there's this angle. They're going to add up to 180 degrees. So anytime you see two angles on a line, they add up to 180. If you know one, you can find the other by subtracting from 180. So that's a linear pair. Vertical angles happen in a figure like this where you have two straight lines that cross each other in an X. And there's a lot of stuff going on here in this simple figure. First of all, you should know that the angles that are across from each other, across the middle of the X, they're always the same. So these two angles would be the same. And then also, these two angles would be the same as each other. So let's say this one is 120 degrees. Then this one's going to be 120 degrees. You might also notice that we actually have a bunch of linear pairs going on in this same figure. So if we look at this angle and this angle together, they're on this straight line split into two. So they must add up to 180. So if this is 120, this would be 60. And because this one's 60, the one across from it would have to be 60. What this means is when you see two straight lines crossing each other in an X, if you know one of the angles, you know all of them. Pretty cool. Let's look at a couple of problems. This first one down here says in the figure shown, DEC and BEC, these angles are what? Well, let's identify them. DEC, so that would be this angle. And BEC, that'd be this angle. Aha. Uh -huh. So they are two angles uh, on a line here. So they are a linear pair. So that's what those guys are. Let's try another couple. This one says, in the figure shown, angle AED is 100. Um, so AED, that's this one. That's 100 degrees. And what you'll notice here is we have two lines that cross each other in an X. So I know that this angle across from it is also going to be 100. And then we've got some linear pairs. So if this angle is 100, this angle must be 80 because these two comprise a linear pair. They have to add up to 180. If this one's 80, well, this has got to be 80 over here. All right, I think that's a good thing to do before you even look at any of these choices. We're trying to find out which of the following statements is false. So let's go through these one by one. A says BEC, that's this one, and CED, that's this one here, are a linear pair. Uh, they are indeed. They, they're along this straight line. So that's a linear pair. That's true. And B says angle AEB equals 80. So AEB, that's this one here. That is indeed 80, so that's true. And C says BEC equals 80. BEC, oh no, that's this one down here. So that's our false one. And that's going to be the answer here. But let's just look at this last one just to double check. AEB and DEC are vertical angles. So AEB is this one over here. And DEC is this one across from it. Yep. Angles across from each other in an X are vertical angles, so that's true. All right, let's look at one more. This one says, if PQ and RS are parallel, find the measure of angle 1 in the figure below. Huh. Well, I think they're giving us some information we don't even need. I don't really care about line RS. I can tell what angle 1 is going to be without knowing that those two are parallel because we have a linear pair here. So 77 and angle 1 uh, are two angles across a straight line. So this is going to be 180 minus 77, because linear pairs always add up to 180. So that's going to be 103 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with linear pairs and vertical angles.